opportunity um, to introduce our school for all of us. Uh, I, I'd like to, uh, from uh, three, uh, five, three aspects to talk about our school. Uh, look at this, yeah, look at the first slide. Uh, the previous one, please. The previous one, yeah. Uh, this building, this building here, I hope you guys could, uh, could uh, see the, the mouse I, I use here. I, um, this, uh, this big building is about, we call it uh, Cai Zhu. That means main building, main building of finance. Main building of finance. This is our school's, uh, the, the, the front uh, perspective from the uh, front side. Mm. In this building, yeah, we have the, uh, we have the offices, professors' offices, and some classrooms. And the top of the uh, two uh, floors, we have uh, laboratories. Okay, let's move on. Move to next slide. Mm, talk about our school. Our school is a school of economics and finance. Um, and then uh, I'd like to talk about the uh, departments. There are eight departments in our school and our academic research uh, achievements and the amazing faculty and uh, uh, model students and distinguished alumni. Uh, I like to talk this four aspects about our school. Let's move. Um, the mission of our school, we uh, um, have a very uh, clear mission. It is committed to cultivating outstanding economic and management talents who advocate science, pursue innovation, study with a down-to-earth attitude and great diligence, have a sense of social responsibility and an international vision, and strive to make important contributions to China's economic and social development. Also, we have international uh, view. We uh, uh, participate in international students cultivating. So we also, not only China, but also the, we serve the whole world. Mm, and about the vision, <clears throat> we will continue to make progress in personal training, training, scientific research, and social services, and strive to develop the college into an international first-class research-oriented economic college with uh, five first classes. Uh, the first class faculty team with first class scientific research, first class teaching and learning, first class management and first class talents. Look at this picture as a uh, left side. This is uh, uh, our school our, uh, the, in, uh, in the Harbor campus, the new campus. Uh, we, uh, uh, located at the first of, uh, as a uh, eighth floor in the main building. Uh, that's the a corner of the of our school's floor. Okay. Um, our school uh, listed at top ten school of economics in China. Xi'an Jiao University, you know, is a, a world known uh, comprehensive university. We have very uh, uh, very complicated uh, or very uh, complete, comprehensive uh, majors, schools. We have uh, from, uh, from uh, uh, economics, uh, to law, to uh, literature, uh, to languages, uh, and to the uh, mechanics, uh, blah, blah, blah. We, we, we all covered, full covered, okay. The School of Economics and Finance is an influential school of economics at home and abroad. It offers a one postdoctoral research station in applied economics, two first level uh, disciplines authorized to confer doctorate degrees in applied economics and statistics, 12 second level uh, disciplines and uh, authorized to confer uh, doctorate degrees, and then five disciplines authorized to confer professional master's degrees. It also confers five major undergraduate majors. Uh, these four pictures uh, are all collected from our students. It's a beautiful uh, scenery in our campus, uh, our school. 
this cat, this cat is very famous also. Uh, she has uh, several siblings. Yeah, we, yeah, we, these days, you know, due to COVID-19, we are not sure how about her life since all students uh, locked down in dormitory and the faculties locked down at the home. So um, since the establishment of the college, the teachers of the, uh, uh, of the college have been approved to establish more than 100 national projects, such as the national philosophy and the social science uh, fund major products, uh, projects and more than 500 provincial and ministerial projects, such as philosophy and the social science fund project of the Ministry of Education with an average annual scientific research fund of more than 10 million yuan. Uh, more than 3,000 high-level academic papers in Chinese and English have been published in leading Chinese and foreign academic journals, such as Chinese Social Science, Economic Research Management World, Economic Quarterly, or World Economy, Research Policy, Review of Finance, etc. Won more than 100 provincial and ministerial scientific research awards. Uh, actually, we have a lot of SCI uh, papers published. Uh, here we, we didn't tell it in detail. Let's move next slide. Um, so you may consider uh, how many departments in your uh, school, what are they, okay? The most famous departments or the leading department is finance. This, uh, this uh, department uh, has a uh, longest history. This major was founded in the, uh, 1965, which of one of the earliest universities in China to set up finance major. This program has the right to confer bachelor's, master's, and doc doctor's degrees. It is a second level uh, doctoral discipline and has the earliest postdoctoral mobile station in Northwest China. It aims to cultivate innovative talents with economic and financial thinking, systematic and solid grasp of financial theoretical basis, um, an, uh, analytical techniques and uh, methods, macro uh, financial analysis ability and, ma and macro financial operation ability. We can play a leading role in the financial field and have board vision and competitiveness. Uh, like uh, like I mentioned, uh, the the finance department has already cultivated so many uh, outstanding uh, alumni, uh, such as uh, uh, bankers, the president of uh, uh, commercial banks, and also some uh, chief uh, chief uh, economist uh, served uh, serve a lot of institutes and serve the government. Okay. Uh, then uh, I'd like to introduce financial engineering. This measure has estab established to meet the needs of economic construction of financial talents and to adapt to the structural changes in the demand for senior financial talents. Um, its uh, predecessor, financial information engineering, was established in 1986 and has a right to grant bachelor, master, and doctorate degrees. It aims to cultivate high-level financial talents with solid theoretical foundation of economy, finance, investment, as well as international vision, uh, practice, and a strong competitiveness who are able to develop a design and use new financial instruments and trading means, uh, creatively put forward strategies and plans to, uh, to, to solve financial problems, have certain financial market analysis skills and business literacy, and it can play a leading role in financial institutions, enterprises, and public institutions in the field, in the field of financial product design, develop and ap uh, application, risk management, teaching, scientific research, administrative management, and other fields. Pay attention, the financial engineering um, and, the fi and the finance, these two departments have some difference. The, the second one put more emphasis on the uh, instruments using like the 
um, the mathematical um, tools uh, has to be used and the computer technology has to be used in this, uh, in, in this major a lot. So if you want to apply this uh, department, uh, you should consider you have very good at mathematics, statistics stuff. Okay, let's move to next slide. <clears throat> Trade economics. This major was founded in 1960 and its uh, predecessor was the Department of Business, School of Law and Business of Peking University, which was founded in 1929. This major has a right to confer undergraduates, master's and doctoral degrees. The name of the master's degree and doctoral degree is industrial economics and has the only postdoctoral mobile station in applied economics uh, in the Northwest region. Uh, like, uh, I'd like to uh, let you know uh, our, um, our, the, the, our school dean, the dean, uh, the dean of our school, um, and the previous dean of our school are all from this department. They all major in industrial economics yeah, at the uh, doctor, doctorate degree, okay. <clears throat> and has a, yeah, okay. Uh, uh, industrial economics is the only national key discipline in the Western China. The aim to cultivate modern compound senior specialized talents in business circulation who are familiar with national economic policies and the relevant laws and the regulations to meet the needs of market economy development has a comprehensive understanding of modern Chinese and the foreign cultivation uh, economy theory and practice. Precise the ability to use modern economic analysis methods, modern information technology means and a skewed uh, foreign language tools to deal with cultivate, uh, to deal with Circulation practice, be able to comprehensively apply the business theory, practical knowledge and operations skills of, uh, of uh, uh, literacy and have a strong innovation spirit and ability. Okay. Uh, then this department, international economics and the trade. Uh, uh, yeah, I, uh, I work for this department. Okay, I'm from this department. This major was established in 1985. It is one of the first colleges in the country to create the major of international economics and trade. It has the right to confer undergraduate, master, and doctoral uh, degrees. It aims to cultivate economic thinking systematically and solidly master the, bas uh, the basic theories and basic knowledge of international economy and international trade. Understand the development uh, status of contemporary international economic and the trade, and be familiar with the, uh, the, the prevailing international trade rules and practices, as well as China's foreign trade policies and regulations. Uh, seal economic conditions of major countries and regions with theoretical research, consulting and decision making capabilities in international business operations and international exchanges, strong foreign language skills, able to play a leading role in the field of international economics and trade with an international vision and the competitiveness, innovative talents. Pay attention, this, uh, in, uh, this department is very strong. And uh, last year we has already passed the, um, the national famous, um, the national famous uh, major. Uh, major. Uh, that's a very honorable uh, yeah, policy honorable reward or the honorable standard. Um, and also this, um, this, de this department has very high uh, standard for the uh, foreign language uh, requirements. Okay, let's move. <laughs> Public finance. This major was established in 1962 and has a history of more than 50 years. It has the right to confer undergraduates, master's and doctoral degrees. It is a second level doctoral program. Mm -hmm. it, uh, it aims to cultivate innovative talents that possess uh, a solid foundation in economics theory, knowledge of financial management policies and tax, tax law systems, uh, master financial accounting knowledge and skills, 
be equipped with practical and research capabilities and be able to play a leading role in the field of financial management with an international perspective and competitiveness. This department has already cultivated a lot of talents for for the professionals who serve the like the um, tax bureau uh, work for the government uh, or some uh, or some uh, teaching uh, teaching talents uh, for the for some other universities <clears throat> and uh, economics this department this is very theoretical uh, major or department uh, compared with other compared with other departments, economics uh, more theoretical. It, uh, founded in 1994, this major has, has been responsible for the teaching and scientific research of theoretical econo economics for undergraduates, masters, and doc doctoral students in the School of Economics and Finance, and it has a right to grant bachelor and master degrees in economics, which is the first level master's degree program in theoretical economics the aim is to cultivate compound innovative talents with profound knowledge of basic economic, uh, economics and, and suitable for comprehensive economic management, economic policy research, and economic theory research. So uh, these years, uh, lots of students uh, prefer, prefer uh, to uh, apply economics just uh, in order to have good foundation, uh, have good professional foundation, and then they will further their study. Uh, they will focus on another like more practical major to uh, um, fulfill their masters. So the economics and their ventures is a very good option since they, they will get well-trained in the professional level, okay. And the next one, economic statistics. Wow, this is very hot uh, these years. Established in uh, 1952, this major is the earliest st uh, statistics major in Northwest China. Now it has the right to confer bachelor's, master's, and uh, doctor's degrees. And it is a first class doctoral program of statistics. It aims to cultivate innovative talents with economic thinking, a systematic gr grasp of basic theories and methods of statistics, the ability to collect, deal with, and analyze social and economic problems, and international vision and compre, uh, competitiveness in the field of economic management. Uh, this couple of years, uh, students uh, are very uh, uh, interested in uh, this uh, department or this major. Uh, why? Since um, just like the similar reason, they uh, just uh, focus on the statistics in order to have very good, very good uh, foundation of professional training, and then uh, grounded on this platform, they will further their study. They will find other more practical uh, or, or more uh, professional uh, master uh, major. Then, so um, and you know. Uh, nowadays, the research of economics are more, more and more um, compound with uh, um, uh, mathematical, mathematical um, analysis um, approaches. So statistics, statistics as, a, as an instrument is very useful and very basic. And um, yeah, so it, it's indispensable for, uh, for students to uh, grasp this um, kind of ability. So it's, it's very hot. Uh, electronic commerce. Electronic commerce, uh, the undergraduate major of e-commerce is our university. Uh, in our university is one of the first four universities in China approved by the Ministry of Education with a right to grant, um, grant undergraduate master and uh, doctoral degrees. This major aims to develop innovative senior professionals with international vision and com uh, competitiveness who, have the, who has the basic theories, knowledge and skills of e-commerce economy. 
management and the technology can engage in business and technology management in national management development at all levels. Various network enterprises, indiv individual and commercial enterprises and the various financial institutions. I'd like to add something. Uh, this uh, major or this department is very uh, popular uh, in the international students, especially uh, for the um, uh, North, uh, uh, Southeast Asian students. Uh, they, uh, most of the students, they uh, focus on this uh, major since they have, uh, for example, they have the uh, family enterprises. Uh, they need to, um, uh, to manage that after they get well trained after the after they finish their uh, their education. So and then, you know um, the digital the digital uh, economy has de developed uh, very well. So uh, no uh, individual or, uh, or no uh, enterprises enterprises could uh, avoid electronic commerce. So it's very uh, very popular and very prevailing for sure. Okay, let's move. Um, the third part, I'd like to introduce the academic research of our school. Uh, we have been approved to establish more than, yeah, just like uh, the previous mentioned, we have so many projects yeah, uh, at the national levels. And uh, we have so many yeah, at the provincial and the ministerial levels. And we have so many papers published in, in very uh, famous Chinese uh, uh, journals, academic journals, and also in the, the uh, world academic journals. Uh, I will not talk it in more details. Let's move. Uh, this is a meeting, a, this is a seminar, the first National Digital Management Dean Forum of high, uh, Higher Education, which established uh, yeah, now uh, 2022. So that's the that's 2020. Yeah, and we can see that this uh, this is a, a meeting. Uh, yeah, international forum on uh, fintech in uh, innovation and application. It's also another forum. We have a lot of um, academic changes which happened both at the campus and uh, aboard. Yeah, this, the, this two are all uh, we hosted um, at the Hubbard campus. Okay, let's move. Yeah, this guy, uh, I think maybe, you know, uh, he's uh, super fam famous. He's uh, um, the, the vice uh, president of the uh, World Bank. His name is Yi Fu Lin. Uh, Lin Yifu, uh, Yifu Lin, mm, uh, famous economist Yifu Lin made the opening speech at, at a, a seminar hosted by us. Mm, seminar on e uh, economy and finance in comprehensively deepening reform, which also hosted by our school. Move. Uh, the, third, the, the fourth part, I'd like to uh, talk about our amazing faculty. Uh, our school currently has 141, actually more than that. This, uh, this number a little bit old, I think maybe uh, almost uh, one, 150. Full-time teachers, including 40 professors, 62 associate professors, 39 teachers, many of whom have made outstanding contributions to the country uh, in well-known universities in the United States, Japan, Britain, Germany, Australia, uh, and other uh, domestically uh, renowned universities. Uh, one young and middle-aged expert, one member of the seventh applied e uh, education discipline uh, appraisal group, one vice chairman of the ministry's teaching steers committee, five new talents from the ministry, five special central government talents, uh, two Shanxi uh, provincial educational uh, young top talent support program, Shanxi University. There are one young talent support, six young top uh, not uh, talents, 
two top level teaching teachers and more than 10 internationally renowned professors and guest professors. This picture at, your, at the right side, pre the previous slide, please. Uh, this picture is a, a living area, yeah, the student's living area uh, of the campus. Uh, these are all the very famous professors of our school, part of the most famous. At the middle, at the middle one, this one, uh, this professor, Dr. Sun, he is a dean, current dean of our school. And just uh, weeks ago, maybe last month, uh, he was promoted as a vice president of our university. So next semester, uh, he will uh, move to the main campus uh, as a main building to, be, uh, to work as a vice uh, president of university. And uh, yeah, we, 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 we will have um, another uh, dean, I think. Uh, and uh, this, uh, this uh, dean, uh, yeah, he, uh, this, uh, this professor, this professor, and this professor, the top three, they all from industrial uh, economics major. <clears throat> uh, this is the uh, vice, uh, uh, vice uh, dean, uh, the current vice dean, who in charge of the uh, postgraduate uh, stuffs. Uh, he is very uh, capable and, and very uh, good at uh, academic research, very famous. He published uh, uh, tons of SSCI and also national level, national level honorable uh, Yangtze River, uh, just like you know, we call it Yangtze River, a scholar. Yeah, uh, that's very honorable, okay. And uh, this lady, this uh, Dr. Yang, uh, he sh she shared the same uh, family name. Uh, sh she's also uh, Miss Yang. Uh, she's uh, the um, chair, uh, chairwoman of uh, industrial economics, or we call it the department of uh, Mao Yi Jingji uh, in uh, inter uh, econom economics uh, uh, trade. Uh, trade economics, okay. And the, this Dr. Fung, uh, he's from, uh, from the same department as, as mine. And the Dr. Yuan, yeah, same as mine. The, uh, this uh, is uh, Dr. Uh, another Dr. Fung, he's a previous de dean of our school. And this lady, yeah, she's, yeah, she's also super famous. Uh, she, she, her name is Li Guoping. She's very uh, uh, fam famous as a field, as a research field of uh, You know, that means resource and uh, uh, energy, uh, resource and energy uh, field of the uh, economics, and also the regional economics, the sustainable, the sustainability development, development of sustainability. Okay. <clears throat> Mm, okay, let's move. Mm, yeah, as a, as a famous school with a long history, we cultivated so many uh, excellent students and distinguished alumni. So, <clears throat> uh, here's some examples. Uh, this, this guy, yeah, from Malaysia, look at his GDP, uh, uh, GPA as nine, um, 91 something, the score of more than 15 crosses is above 90. He won first prize of Xian Jiaotong Chinese speech computation for foreign students, first prize of 50 freestyle. Yeah, he's also very good at sports. Yeah, study sports and, and activities. Yeah. A pianist, you can see that. Taking an active part in various public welfare activities, go to um, uh, Lanjiang City, Guangdong Province as a volunteer teacher uh, in this prim primary school and win the title of excellent volunteer teacher leader mm -hmm. as a volunteer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have uh, his video. Mr. Ma, could you? Uh, Play uh, Wei or Wei Junjie. 
taskis veriyordum. Hi, I'm Eric Mu from Malaysia. I'm studying my bachelor degree in Xi'an Zhao Hong University, majoring in international economics and trade. Looking back now, it was really like a dream. When I first thought of studying abroad, going to European and American countries was the first thing that came into my mind. At that time, China was not among my options. But later, by chance, I came into contact with the study in China program from an education fair. It was the first time I had such a strong interest in China and I decided almost right away that this is where I wanted to pursue my further studies. Xi'an Jiao Tong University is one of the top 10 research universities in China and it is also the member of C9 League or China's Ivy League. Most importantly, Jiao Da is located in Xi'an the Asian capital of China. I was deeply amazed by its history and cultural heritage and I believe that people who have been to Xi'an will agree with me that Xi'an is the best place to learn about China. Most of the time I will study in the library or sometimes we will also gather my friends for group discussions. These are the essential parts of our uni life as they can help to create a better discipline and environment for learning. Of course, during my spare time, I often participate in extracurricular activities. I won several speech contests and was invited to be a speaker at some events. I also participated in some sports competitions on behalf of international students, and yes, I strive to achieve good results too. Studying at the School of Economics and Finance was an unforgettable and most precious experience for me. SDF has given me many opportunities and platforms to continuously improve myself and successfully turn me into an excellent student. Here, we have the opportunity to do hands-on experiments, as well as field trips to some companies or factories, thus helping students to achieve a theory with practice learning outcome. SEF often organizes various lectures and forums for students, along with competitions such as project design and essay writing. It cultivates us to be capable leaders with an expressive branch of professional knowledge and strong critical thinking ability. We can always feel the teacher's concern for students and sense of responsibilities for their work. And their encouragement is just like a booster shot for our learning. Through various experiences at Jauda, I've grown a lot more mature in thinking and more advanced in professional skills. I've been told, you have become a role model now, but I really feel like I've been made into a role model rather than becoming one. Therefore, I'm very grateful to Jauda and the SDF for cultivation and also all the opportunities and help given to me which made me more diligent and determined on the road to success and become a role model for other students. For our future juniors, studying in China will be an adventure that you will never forget. With the rise of China's economy and the improvement of education quality, Studying in China will provide you with various transferable skills, international exposure, and cultural experience that will give you an edge in the job market. See you in Jiaoda, see you in SEF.
let's move to next page. Okay, uh, here's another female student. student. Uh, I, I taught classes for both of them. They are really outstanding students. They always keep uh, very active at, at all classes and they're very uh, diligent at all the assignments. They're very self-disciplined students. Let's move to the next slide. Uh, we, have, we also have a lot of outstanding alumni. Uh, like, yeah, we have several walls. I just take, took one picture. Uh, for example, uh, just to select several. Uh, oh, we have governor of Hebei province as our alumni. We have president of people's government of Inner Mongolia autonomous region. And we have the deputy director of general administration of, of sports of China, and the general manager of Shenzhen Stock Exchange and dean of the school of public administration at Tsinghua University and the former deputy secretary general of the state council. And uh, uh, this guy is a, uh, a similar age, okay. Well-known Chinese economist, economist and the chief economist of Industrial Bank. And uh, a, a lot, we have a lot of, yeah, we have a long, long list for uh, famous uh, alumni, okay. Move to the next slide. Uh, in the past 100 years, rooted in the West, facing the whole country and focusing on the world, the school economics and finance has been sparing no effort in education and research in the field economics and has cultivated tons of thousands of outstanding talents in the economic and the financial industry for uh, the country and also for the world. Generations of outstanding alumni has made outstanding achievements in their uh, respective fields and become the pride of the college and the model for younger students to learn from and move forward. Let's move. Yeah, this uh, uh, picture is also collected from my students. It is uh, cu uh, cute girls, uh, cats, now campus. Uh, so we still have other, yeah, yeah, let's move. <clears throat> uh, welcome to our uh, school. We still have uh, other two students they'd like to share the experiences from our school. Uh, one is an venture student, the other is a doctorate, uh, a doctor student, doctor candidates. Okay, just uh, three minutes and another maybe. Mulahoneza, Amahoro Queenless. My name is Olivier from Rwanda. Now, I am at Xi'an Yaoto University, School of Economics and Finance. The School of Economics and Finance is a young and dynamic college established on the basis of relevant economic disciplines and majors of the three universities after the march of Xi'an Yacht University, Xi'an Medical University, and Shanxi University of Finance and Economics in 2000. The School of Economics and Finance has nearly 2,000 undergraduates, masters, and PhD students. At the present, the college has one national key discipline, which is industrial economics. The college now has 141 full-time teachers, including 40 professors, 62 associate professors and 39 lecturers. Most of them have obtained a PhD degrees from well-known universities in the United States, Japan, Britain, Germany, Australia, and other countries. The school is always giving wings to the tiger. 
西暗礁的寂静与幽玄。为虎添翼。Coming to Xi An Yaotong University, the School of Economics and Finance has been one of the defining moments of my life. The four years programs allowed me a great deal of flexibility, and I have been able to explore my own interest in different subjects. From the beginning, I took a linguistic options as a Chinese language student for one year. Then, after, started my bachelor programs in international economy and trade. This was the time I was trying to play Chinese music instrument. Arto fido, arho. It was very, very interesting. Has been an important part in my life, and this is the thing I enjoyed a lot during this time studying in the School of Economy and Finance. I enjoyed a lot during my university life. There are a lot of things that I enjoyed just living here, waking up every morning, exercise my body, and keep all the day busy with different things I do. System. I have gained knowledge in different areas. This has given me a grounding in varied fields and gives me a transferable skills I can take into my career. And finance has opened all the doors to everyone. Although there is a huge learning curve, it always makes us to enjoy the journey. Because I.
Okay, uh, and last, uh, uh, we like to play um, the, the last uh, video from our uh, doctor uh, candidate or doctorate student. <laughs> Do you wonder why people always look for a great site of the love learning? A place of great comfortability known for excelling. That's because excellence is a vital ingredient to succeed. Proper knowledge is an essential ingredient to proceed. The availability of sufficient educating materials can't be left out for it is a nutrient to the students with no doubts. Xi'an Jiangtong University is one arranged with all these qualities, known for always equipping her students in their diverse specialties. Have you heard of the School of Economics and Finance of Xi'an Jiangtong University? The dome of dreams and wonders in innovation with diverse exceptionality. One that aims to be outstanding in every task. Where the adequate knowledge demanded is supplied. The required profit and utility is also maximized. School of Economics and Finance is a young and passionate school of ex -GTU. After the merging of the three universities, Xi'an Jiangtong University, Xi'an Medical University, and Shanxi Institute of Finance and Economics in the year 2000. The School of Economics and Finance was founded in the economic-related majors from the three universities. Besides states of the arts and unique architectural buildings, the School of Economics and Finance is a storehouse of knowledge where hard work grooms one to embrace courage. Adequate learning facilities arranged like a flower verse with an attractive and admirable environment with well-organized and standard policy with diligent and great teachers so active like soldiers. People of hard work, examples of great leaders, teaching with humility and not raising shoulders. These are environments where one will always love to live and study. A place of hard work, excellence, and success driven. The application process to XJCU is very simple and smooth. What you need is to go to the online application platform and make your application. Submit the necessary documents required. The conversation with the admission team is done online until the delivery of your admission package, which contains all the necessary documents for your visa application and important information required. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the School of Economics and Finance of XJTU. Let's make our dreams a reality. Okay, thank you. Let me sum up. If you consider you are excellent, uh, if we uh, use metaphor uh, like animals, if you, you consider yourself as a tiger, we adding wins for tigers. Okay, thank you, everyone. Thank you. Okay, uh, thanks a lot to Professor Yang and to the videos from our students. It's very uh, interesting and intelligent. And uh, next, after uh, Professor Yang's very detailed introduction of the study and the life in the School of Economics and Finance, uh, you might be interested in how to join us uh, by the application to different scholarships and follow our uh, application procedures. So uh, next part, I will uh, introduce from the side of admission office to give you some uh, detailed introduction to our applications and the, the scholarship programs we offer. Uh, wait a minute, let me share my screen. Yeah, 
So uh, my part is only going to be a very brief introduction, emphasizing on the scholarships and the application in both. Uh, it's divided into two parts, the scholarship and how to join us. So the first part is the scholarship. As mentioned by Professor Yang, our university offers quite a comprehensive degree system, including the bachelor, master, and PhD. And accordingly, we offer scholarships to these different degree levels. So first of all is the International Freshman Scholarship. It's for the bachelor students. Uh, you can see that it contains three different prizes. The first one is an exemption from all tuition fee of the first year. And the second prize is an exemption for 50%. And the third prize is an exemption for 30%. And there's a plus of a monthly living allowance, but the detailed amount is to be decided according to your performance during the application and during your first year of study. And when the scholarship comes to the postgraduate level, as you can see from this slide, we have four major scholarship programs offering for both masters and PhDs. The first one is the Chinese government scholarship. It's the most, yes, the most well-known and most comprehensive scholarship we have. It covers your tuition, accommodation, and medical insurance, and a monthly living allowance. The next one is the XJTU Suyuan scholarship. Uh, as the name calls Suyuan, it came from our uh, university and sponsored by the university finance. Uh, there is an exemption from tuition fee and a monthly living allowance. The third one is the Xi'an Belt and Road Scholarship. This one comes from the sponsorship of Xi'an city government. It contains a monthly scholarship, uh, 10 months per year. The last one is quite uh, special because it's for the Chinese language. It's called the International Chinese Language Teachers Scholarship, and it's divided into one year, one semester, and four weeks. Uh, if you have friends or classmates who are interested, they, you, they can also apply for this one. The next part is of how to join us. Uh, I will tell you about our requirements and the application documents, as well as the uh, procedures. The first one is the requirements for venture. There are some uh, basic eligibilities you have to fulfill before you consider yourself an applicant to our university. So uh, as shown in this slide, the first eligibility is your uh, the age limit and the health requirements. You have to be among 18 to 25 years of age with a good health status to study in XJTU. The next one is you have to get a valid foreign ordinary passport. And besides that, you still have to get a high school or an advanced diploma. The fourth requirement is that you have to be uh, proficient in Chinese language, uh, which means you have to get an HSK-4 with a score of 180 with a minimum of 60 in all subskills. The application time is now already started. It's from the December 1st to June 30th. And there might be an admission review process, including a review of your Chinese language, your academic background, awards and achievements, and there might also be an online interview. And next, when it comes to the master and PhD level, we still have some uh, specific requirements. The first one is also the eligibility. Uh, first, to be uh, one of our applicants, you have to be a non-Chinese citizen with a valid passport and still yeah, be in good health. The next one is for a master program, you have to get a bachelor program in advance and be under 35 years of age. And for the doctoral program applications, you have to get a master degree in advance and be under 40 years of age. The application schedule is now also already started. It's open. Uh, it's from November 15th last year to March 15th this year. So it remains you still uh, around two months to complete your application. And there are some special notes for the doctoral applicants is that uh, we do have this uh, re requirements of recommendation letter from potential professors or supervisors, but it's divided into different programs and different schools because they might have different requirements. And you can find this detailed and specific information on our website. And before you log into our online application system, we suggest you to prepare this application documents in advance. I will go through it one by one. And the first is the original highest diploma and it's notarized copies. It's for uh, your degree. Like for example, if you're applying for the PhD degree, then you have to get your master diploma in advance and prepared. The next one is your original transcripts in the latest study period. And after that, you have to offer a certificate of language proficiency. It's divided according to the program 
uh, you are applying. Like a program is taught in Chinese, then we need your Chinese proficiency. Otherwise, we need your English proficiency. The next one is a photocopy of your valid ordinary passport. Uh, after that is the completed original physical examination record for foreigners and blood test report. And there is a pattern for you to download from our university and school website. After that is the application fee. Uh, here I want to mention that the application fee is mandatory for all the applicants. Uh, you have to pay 500 RMB for a self-sponsored application and 800 RMB for scholarship application. And there might be other documents required by different schools and different professors. Please uh, be ready to receive any information from us. And there are still a few more notes for you while getting ready for the documents. The first one is that all the documents need to be scanned, which means they have to be clear enough to be reviewed by us and uploaded into the application system for review. The next one is any incomplete applications, such as a uh, lack of necessary documents or unclear documents will be rejected. The last note is that you have to offer a notarized Chinese or English versions of your documents because uh, we have students uh, uploading documents made in Russian or Spanish or other languages which we cannot recognize. Uh, so uh, we're not only accepting Chinese and English notarized copies of documents. Well, after getting ready for all the documents, here is how to apply to us. Uh, as you can see from uh, the upper slide, uh, there is a link to the online application system. And uh, you can log into this system as a start and create your account, then start your application to us. Uh, you should fill in your information first, then upload all the documents I have just introduced and pay the application fee. And all this can be done online in the system. And after that, you can consider your application as completed. And we will also email you a notice of completing the application. And here is our contact information. It's for the uh, admission office. You can call us, fax us, email us, or find us on the website. And uh, this is brand new this year because we just created our account on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. And uh, today's webinar, including the former webinars, will be uh, recorded and uploaded in these different platforms for you to replay and find us. So if you want, you can take a screenshot uh, or download these information. And uh, at last, still, yeah, welcome to our university. It's quite a lovely place to study and live. Thank you. And for your information, I will also uh, share again our contact infos in the chatting room for you to save okay here we go yeah you, you can now find us uh in the chatting room uh, here is our uh, telephone number and fax and the email and our school website and uh that's pretty much all my introduction and following that maybe we still have just a little bit of time to take uh, one or two questions so guys, if you have anything you want to ask regarding your study and life in SGTU and in the School of Economics and Finance, you can type in the chatting room and we can uh, choose one to answer. Yeah, thank you. Now we are open for questions. Well, I have seen some students have asked about acceptance uh, in the chatting room before. Uh, here, I just want to mention that acceptance letter is conditional uh, according to different schools because the schools have different requirements. They're, they may be asking for it, they may be not asking for it. So please first go to our school's website to check the program and professor list and find the right information before you ask him for any acceptance. Let, let me say, uh, our school, we, we don't have that requirement. No matter you uh, mm -hmm. apply for a master or PhD, it's okay for you uh, without an acceptance letter. That, that's, that's okay, that's no worries. Okay, and I think maybe uh, I will share again, yeah, this slide of our QR codes for you to take a screenshot or you can scan it. Uh, as long as you want to find any information of us, you can find us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Okay, uh, if not, maybe our time is uh, running up. And again, I want to thank you all for joining us tonight. It's been quite uh, informative and sharing night for the School of Economics and Finance. And again, uh, I would like to truly thanks to Professor Sarah Young to join us in this lovely night because 
we know that Xi'an is not quite under a little bit of lockdown under the impact of COVID-19, but anyway, we still made it. And uh, I hope you have enjoyed today's webinar and the take the information you would like to know. Thanks again, Professor Yang. If you have any thank more- Thank you, everyone. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. Have a good rest of the day. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks again. Okay. And uh, guys, uh, in the following days, we still have uh, maybe some more webinars for different schools and different majors. So please stay tuned to our different platforms because we will uh, release the news on it and you can follow us to find the schools and the major you want. Thanks again and uh, see you next time.